What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Mason. I am a Ford technician. I work here at a Ford dealership and if you are wondering what we're going to be talking about, we are back talking about 3.5 liter EcoBoost cam phasers. Yes, it is 2022. They have fixed this problem in the year 2020, but believe it or not, we are still hot and heavy here at the dealers doing these cam phasers. Uh, 2017 and 2019 F-150s and the 18 up expeditions. All of these engines are having phaser rattle problems, cold start rattle with the phasers. I've made uh, several videos in the past talking about this issue. Uh, today, we're gonna have a short video here. I wanna update you guys with some of the things that we're doing now that seem to be actually fixing the source of the problem on this engine. Okay, so if you've watched any of my other videos, I'll link them up here. I would definitely go check them out because I dive a lot more deeper into the actual issue with this. We've had several recalls updating PCM software, trying to correct this, boosting oil pressure to try to keep these phasers uh, from having this cold start rattled. But what I've seen here lately that has been really seemed to have been fixing all of these engines with a cold start rattle is this new updated phaser that they have us putting in them. As you can see here in the uh, overlay I'm gonna put here in this video, uh, the new phaser that goes on this EcoBoost is completely different. How's it going, man? What's going on? Yes, sir. There's a drop box on this side, right by the door, right by the service door on this side. Yes, sir, right up there by the door. All right, yes, sir. <sighs> Never a minute of peace around here. All right, where was I? Uh, updated phaser, uh, if you'll notice in the overlay here, the old style phaser is completely different than what the new style phaser looks like. The new style phaser actually has this big cover over here, whereas we used to have an exposed spring on the front. And if you watched any of my videos, you'll see that the problem is you can take the time and chains off this thing and it's supposed to have a lockout pin inside of the phaser that holds the phaser when you cut the engine off and it doesn't have oil pressure going to it. Uh, well, on the ones that rattle, when you take the chain off of, you can actually take the phaser and you can spin it individually of the cam with your hand. There's nothing to lock it out. What happens is oil pressure is not good enough uh, when you first start the truck and over time, that lockout pin will end up breaking and the damaging the phaser. That is why the only fix for this cold start rattle is to replace the cam phaser. I've said this in every single video I've ever made on them. If you have the rattle on cold start, the only fix is to replace the phaser. When I say rattle, I'm not talking about you wastegate rattle guys. Uh, we're gonna have a video actually coming out on that here pretty soon. And I've had a lot of people ask me about making a video on the wastegate rattle on these three fives. I know I see a lot of them come in every day complaining about it. So I'm gonna try to give something, I'm trying to get something together that might actually help you guys because there isn't a lot of uh, help for that wastegate rattle. But this is not a wastegate rattle video, so let me get back to it. Cam phaser. These new cam phasers, the difference in the part number uh, actually starts with the beginning here. We have an M instead of an H. It was an H previously. It actually changed the entire number, but uh, you can easily identify the old versus the new with a M or an H on the front of the number. I'll throw this part number down in the description so you'll have them if you need them. They don't cost any more than the old ones. They're actually uh, discontinuing the old ones if I'm correct. We are still getting some here and there uh, because I guess they had a surplus of them in the uh, parts warehouses since we've been doing so many of these repairs, but this is the new part number. This phaser, I have yet to see one of these vehicles come back with a cold start rattle after replacing it with this phaser. So if you are if you have your vehicle at the dealer, make sure you ask them that they are installing this new updated phaser, because like I just said, a lot of these parts places at dealers, especially bigger dealers, uh, man, they might've had 100 or 150 of the old style phasers in stock. So when you go in to have your, your vehicle replaced, they're gonna sell all of those old ones before they start ordering new ones. They're just not gonna eat the cost of that. And that is actually per Ford recommendation on what to do with the old phasers just because we've installed so many of the old ones. But now, if you're experiencing rattle now at this time, just make sure you request that your dealer be replacing it with this new updated phaser. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you in this video. I wanted to show you the difference between the old style and the new style. I'm not gonna go into depth about the oil system. I've done that several times in several different videos. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check those out. Uh, but that's pretty much gonna wrap us up for this one. I hope you guys are getting your cold start rattles fixed because I hate everybody is experiencing this problem, but go buy a GM. You can have lifter problems, you know, to each his own. That's gonna wrap us up for this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.